Greetings YouTube! This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001 with another commission. This is a second one from King Minan, also known as Slate. He's the guy I made that tornado for a little while ago. He wants one of a... Uh, well this is the first for me. It's a Pokemon Trainer. His, uh, his, own, little, his own little fan OC, uh, Pokemon Trainer Daniel from the 5th generation. Alright, so let's uh, let's get started. So, as a Pokemon trainer, the only figure that I could possibly use is, of course, an Ash Ketchum. This is the diamond and pearl look for Ash, with the, the vest and the different style hat. If you watch the anime, you kind of wonder why did he change his hat after you know how special his first hat was, but, but whatever. Um, the first thing I had to do was, of course, de-hat him, which is a lot harder than you think. I mean, it's made out of the same kind of plastic as any other figure I've ever done, but much thicker. So, de-hatting this guy... Ugh, I, I don't even want to start on it. I, I also used a sander to get rid of all of his spiky hair, leaving a little uh, topless head ash here. That's kind of creepy. So, by way of fabrication, all I really had to do was sculpt his new hair. Which, um, you see here, it's uh, kind of a transitional stage. I, I later beefed it up so he looked like he had more of a forehead under there. Um, you may notice the face doesn't have those little marks that Ash has. Though he has a smudge in the cheek. Um, that was surprisingly cheap paint work done by the manufacturer because, you know, the, the, the cheek marks almost rubbed off by accident while I was working on the hair. Huh. Well, whatever. It worked to my advantage. So, like my Young Link custom, this is one of those action figures that can't be dismantled. So, I pretty much had to paint the whole thing as one piece, which which can get really frustrating because holding holding on to a piece while another piece is painted, it it can be a real headache. But I got his nice little uh, new vest with the side pockets. Um, oh, oh, his hands. Uh, remember, Ash is wearing gloves. Daniel doesn't wear gloves, so I had to mix skin. But Ash is a weird skin tone. I had to blend in quite a bit of orange there. But despite the weird skin tone, I actually managed to blend it better than I have in any other figure I've made. Even under the camera flash, you can barely tell the difference, which is pretty cool. So here's Daniel standing next to Ash. Hooray! Don't they just look like quite the pair? Next he can put this with his Pokemon figures and be awesome. Not a very big fan of Pokemon, but I'm happy to make other people happy.